It may not look like one, but this robot is actually a simulated worm. Scientists from the Open Worm Project, an open source program dedicated to creating the world's first virtual organism in a computer, have created software that simulates a common roundworm by using a complete map of the neural connections inside its brain. For the project, Timothy Busbys, a co-founder of Open Worm, inserted that software in a simple Lego robot. To his surprise, he says, the robot started to behave and respond to its environment just like a normal worm would, without any prior programming or human intervention. Completely autonomous. It, did, it, it was an animal. It was a creature that did its own thing. In fact, I would let it run around for quite some time. And to me, I likened it to like a cat. You know, it would just kind of wander around um, in the room and just, you know, just do what it wanted to do and do its own thing. The software uses sensors and motors to simulate the worm's behavior. Motors on both sides of the robot correspond to the motor neurons running down the left and right side of a real worm. And a sonar sensor in the robot simulates nose-touch sensory neurons in the worm's brain. Like a real worm, the robot stops, turns and changes directions every time its nose touches an obstacle. It also instinctually moves forward in search of a meal when its food sensory neurons are stimulated. The scientists picked the common roundworm called C. elegans for the project because its brain has been extensively studied around the world. The first map of all its neural connections was published in 1986. In addition to being very well studied, in its whole body it has only about a thousand cells and the neurons make up about a third of that, 302. And um, so it's a very convenient animal for working out what a very simple nervous system does. Mr. Busbys hopes that his robot will inspire similar projects with animals that have more complicated brains and help to advance the field of artificial intelligence. Scientists hope one day to simulate a human brain which has around 86 billion neurons and 100 trillion connections or synapses. They say this could ultimately enable more effective treatments for neurological diseases such as Parkinson's and Alzheimer's disease or even lead to cures. Open Worm says it will publish a fully digital version of the worm for everyone to explore on the web in July 2015.